Yeah, that's right! Hey everyone, this video was originally uploaded to Machinima. However, we've decided to re-upload it to our own channel, that way you can all check it out. Thanks for watching. This is the story of Corey. It's Corey's story. Ha, off to a great start, Morgan. Let's keep up the good work. He had a beautiful wife whose name was Janet. There she is. Wow. Yes, wow is right. I mean, I can't even imagine two more attractive people than Corey and Janet. Corey is tall and perfectly groomed. Janet is just, she's just beautiful. She's just gorgeous and all kinds of stack. Unbeknownst no, sure to Corey, yes. Janet was using her laptop to fill out some divorce paperwork and update her Tinder account. You see, Janet and Corey were having problems. He's an alcoholic, you see. Yes, Corey just can't stay away from the demon in the bottle. Because of Corey's alcoholism, he makes poor choices. Just the other night, two o'clock in the morning, he bought 17 Pachislo slot machines on eBay. Dumbass. Oh shit, it's Corey's half-sister, Lucille. I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. You're such a smart ass, Corey, you had that coming. You know Lucille doesn't want your tiny pecker. She's your half-sister, you sick fuck. And you know when a sister takes off her shoes, someone's getting their ass beat. Front kick. Corey slammed into a bookcase, knocking off the vintage Encyclopedia Britannica's he bought on eBay three months ago. You see, the thing about being an alcoholic is that your reflexes are slow and your wits are dull. And Corey ain't exactly Jackie Chan. Oh, damn! This was looking a lot like Holly Holm beating up Ronda Rousey. Oh, Corey almost fell off that thing. He's been spending too much time in the bars, eating pickled eggs and frozen pizzas, I guess. Come on, boozy McShit stain. See what I mean? He's, he's put on some pounds. He's such a fat ass. So fat. Just fat. Oh, look who shows up. His old drinking buddy, Foreskin. They called him Foreskin because he still has his foreskin. Now, now, Corey. Corey, I don't know if I'd be ziplining. Corey forgot how fat he was. You're gonna die, Corey. You're going to fucking die. It's in the Bible. If you're drunk when you die, you go to hell. Did you know that? Yes, it's in there. Corey should hang out with better people. Maybe that's his problem all along. No wonder Janet left him. He, he makes poor choices. Who are these people that Corey's killing? Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Foreskin isn't Corey's only friend, you know. He's got other friends, like Big Steve. He's called Big Steve because his penis is large. Big Steve pulled up in a stolen limousine. That is so Big Steve. Go Big Steve, go! The next day, Corey and Foreskin decided to go on a hike. It can be quite therapeutic to roll around in the freshly fallen snow. Corey, Corey's gotta kill this guy here. Slams right against the wall. How many bodies can Corey pile up against this wall here? Let's see, there's one, two, three, oh. Things do not look good for our drunk little buddy. And this, this kind of shit here, this is why Janet needed to get out of the relationship because you can't just constantly worry about your, your husband dying in an old temple. She needs to know that he's a partner, you know what I'm saying? She needs to know. Corey and Foreskin were swinging like crazy chimpanzee monkeys, shooting guns, drunk as fuck. And you know, that's again, just another reason why Janet is right now in the middle of coitus with a tennis coach. Meanwhile, Janet, freshly home and showered from her steamy sex riddled date with a tennis coach, hears her phone buzzing. Janet played it cool, as if she didn't just ride the Maloney Pony Express. And it wasn't too hard for Corey to play cool because his memory is like Swiss cheese. Okay. Corey swilled down a couple bottles of Jameson and then he woke up in the middle of nowhere, as usual. As you can see by Corey's driving, he is three sheets to the wind. I'm not a betting man, but I bet they don't make up. There they go, right off the cliff. And that is the story of Corey. See that now? That is a twist. It was all just a game. But drugs and alcohol are not just a game, kids. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's see some YouTube comments here. Cooler Alpha Male. The problem with the Morgan Freeman impersonation is that every time he swears or is crude, it snaps me out of it. 
Morgan is supposed to be the nice one next to Walken who's the crude one. But step off, son. You don't know me. Our next comment is from Harry Lumley. GTF in there, LOL. It's up. Love A.M. Freeman tale. Oh, I see. He likes the Morgan Freeman story times. Okay. He's excitable. Low life age rights. I'd rather get fucked by a husk than listen to Morgan Freeman's voice. Well, sounds like you're giving a lot of thought to what you'd like up your ass. You go on ahead and get fucked by a husk. Meow tricks, Mix writes. I'm gonna go make a sandwich. When I get back, this better have a lot of likes. I wonder what kind of sandwich they made. I always enjoy a nice tuna fish on rye. Or a Reuben. I do like a Reuben sandwich. And finally, Will Sharink writes. Last time I was this early. Blah, blah, blah. Insert LOLs here. Uh, this comment seems to be missing a punchline. Let me see if I can help him. Last time I was this early, I walked in on my mom and dad, bumping uglies. LOL. I don't fucking know. For more videos like this one here, subscribe to the Game Society Pimps. And for 100 celebrity impersonations in 100 days, go to jasonsvoices.com.